Hello, and thank you for choosing Ink for Cakes Print a Cake software. After installing the software, please click on the Start button, click on All Programs, and then look for the Print a Cake icon inside of the Print a Cake folder. If this is your first time using the software, you will be asked to enter your serial number or choose Trial. Also, each time you launch the software, it will automatically download the latest template updates. Now we are free to begin designing and printing our icing sheets. If you look in the upper left hand side, you will see all the available formats. If you click on this down arrow key, you will see an expanded view of the formats, making, e making it easier to see and choose the correct one. For this example, we will choose a 3 inch circle. Now we can go to the insert tab and start designing. From here we can insert a picture of our choosing by clicking image from file. Then we can add a custom template by first downloading one and then applying it. Once we download the theme we'd like, double click it to insert it. Then you can click maximize to guides for it to fit perfectly in your template. From here we can add custom text on top of our project. Click the text button on the left hand side and then type the message you'd like. You can customize your message any way you'd like. You can change the color and the font. After we are happy with our design, it's time to print. Please click on the print tab. Choose your printer and the correct paper size. All pre-cut circles should be printed on icing sheet A4. Then click on paper alignment. This part is very important. Each specific circle has a different calibration value depending on your printer. Please make sure you look at the PDF provided with the software to know which calibration value you need. The software will want to print a calibration page, which will help if you're using a third-party printer for which we did not provide a calibration value. In this example, I will cancel the calibration test page, since I already have the calibration values I need. You enter your first value in the first box, and your second value in the second box. Once we are done with calibration, we are ready to print. Please take note that if you are printing on 2.5 inch circles, you must print with the borderless option turned on. You go to print setup, and for a Canon printer, it should appear right here. For an Epson printer, It will appear under the Advanced tab under the Paper Size. Also, if you're printing on an Epson printer, you need a specific 2.5 inch format, which you will find right here. last thing that we want to do is to add a bleed to our print. This part is optional, but it ensures consistency across all of our pre-cut pre circles. When we are all set, we click Print. From here, we can see a preview of our project, and we can choose which circles we would like to print. If we only need two circles, we can save the rest of the four. When we're all set, we click Print. and we're all done.